Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Blue Falcon coming to you with another video. This time around, I'm gonna try to show you how to fix any issues you're having with Final Fantasy VII Remake for the PC not registering your controller. All right. So if you're like me, you like to play your games using the standard gaming controller and you don't like to use keyboard and mouse. So I'm going to show you in this video how to allow Final Fantasy VII Remake to actually read your controller. So what kind of motivated me to make this video in the first place was because I was playing Final Fantasy VII um, and it just wasn't registering my controller. All right. So here's what we're going to do first and foremost. We're going to go and I'm going to share my screen with you all. All right. Go and download DS4 Windows. Now, check it out, guys. There is a way for you to. There's some people online that mentioned that you can open up Epic Games from Steam. I've tried that route and it still didn't work for me. So that's the reason why I'm trying to show you this route. So hopefully you don't run to any issues. All right. But long story short, all you have to do, and let me even go back, right? Just in case you're trying to find it, just type in DS4 Windows, no space in your Google search bar. All right. And then from there, you simply click on the first link all right, and it will bring you right here. With that being said, just click on that download button. All right. You can scroll down and then you just press download that that's that's simply it all right now i already got it so i'm not going to download it again but i will recommend you when you click save as make sure to save it so let me actually see if i can show it to you guys save as make sure you save it on your desktop and prior to saving it on your desktop i highly recommend you to go on your actual desktop itself and create a folder that's actually labeled DS4 Windows. And the reason why I'm gonna show you real quick, just so how you actually do that. Let me close down everything. When you're on your desktop, right? You simply right click where it says no, you go to folders, and then you rename your folder. Again, I'm not gonna do this because I've done it already. Um, and you just name it DS4 Windows, all right? Um, the only reason why I have new is because DS4 Windows, there was an old version of it. But if you download it today, you'll get the most updated version. So, you no need for that. But with that being said, click it. Um, I will leave in the link as well, right? Because it does come in this file right here. All right, you guys. Um, it comes in, I don't know what they call it, but um, I guess you have to extract the file. All right. Now, if you don't, I use WinRAR. Um, I'm, again, I'm going to leave the link to WinRAR down below in the description. But all you have to do is download WinRAR, all right? And from there, you simply, when you do click on DS4 Windows um, extraction file, simply say extract here, all right? When you do that, you'll see all of these, <laughs> all right? And that's the big reason why I told you create the folder on your desktop because you don't want a whole bunch of these things on your actual desktop itself all right so create all of that and then from here i actually created another folder itself called ds4 again and then i copied and paste all of these things right into that ds4 windows just to get it prettied up a little bit all right with that being said all you have to do right you may have to go to ds4 updater but if it doesn't ask you to do it that means your ds4 windows is up to date but simply click it and you'll see that because I turned on my, I already turned on my PS5 already, um, my DualSense controller already. That's the reason why it's hooked up. But the moment that you connect it to your PC, this should automatically pop up. And you can see right here, it already reads it as DualSense. All right. Um, this, for the most part, will let you know it's working. Now, just in case you still unsure if it works or not. All right, I'm going to show you something even the more so. You can go to your settings, and then you can go to Gamepad Test. All right, and it brings you here, and then you can kind of see for yourself. I'm moving my controller. All right, let me see if I can actually show it to you guys. 
and bear with me because I actually want to sh- make sure that you guys can actually see it. All right, you see this? Uh, my PS, my PS5 DualSense controller. All right, <sighs> I'm gonna try to show it to you guys right here. All right, make sure I keep it in the same spot so you can see it on the upper right. And uh, let's go to it again. All right, so you can kind of see it. So long as I move it, it moves it as well right and the reason why this is the thing that's important for you to also understand right so the reason why it registers as a xbox controller okay if you probably saw it is because that's the whole point the xbox controller for the most part is pretty much synonymous as a pc controller all right so if you're using a dual sense controller or if you're using uh, PS4 controller which also works with DS4 Windows um, in fact DS4 Windows was intended was originally intended for the PS4 DualShock right the DualShock 4 controller but long story short the DualShock 4 controller isn't natively paired um, it doesn't natively run with PC games and that's the reason why you either have to go through Steam or you have to use DS4 Windows but again what ds4 windows does is take any controller that you have it could even be I be, actually i believe so long as it's um sony um don't quote me do some research on that but i think it's only for sony controllers but what it does is it takes sony controllers whether it be the dualshock 4 or the dualsense and then it kind of allows your computer to read it as an actual pc controller anyway with that being said that's enough talking let's actually show you how it actually works on the other hand so now i'm gonna go to epic games so we can we could cancel out of that um so let me just make sure that it's connected all right cool and now it's connected all right with that being said let's actually open up final fantasy 7 remake All right, so as you can see, I'm using my controller and it's finally moving, <laughs> all right? And it wasn't moving before. Now, with that being said, it may not work for you at first. So what you do have to do is go to your options, right? You may have to actually use your keyboard and mouse of at first, at first, but just go to your controller settings, press the enter button. And then from there, you'll see on the bottom, um, it would have said actually it doesn't show it now. I guess it's because I already have my PS5 controller um, Already connected but press F8 if you press F8 right You will see it has your wireless controller wireless gamepad controller Xbox 364 Windows XI input controller Click on XI input controller. I tried the other ones and for some odd reason it wasn't working. All right, you guys. So press XI input controller. All right. And then now you will see it's working totally fine. All right. And then just start the game. Uh, I'm just going to skip it because now you can kind of see it it works right so that's it guys <laughs> it's literally that simple um with that being said i hope you guys found value in this video if you did let me just lower this volume real quick if you did find any value in this at all please you guys like subscribe comment down below if you still need any additional help or you need um links um because the links i'm giving you is not working i don't know why it wouldn't work but it should but just leave any comments down below if you need any further assistance with that being said you guys thanks again thanks once again for watching um blue falcon over and out game to win game hard